At the very beginning of each collection, I ask myself, what is she doing? Where is she going? And how does she want to feel? Instinctually, I just know when something is right. I know how she wants to feel. I need to have my hands in the work. It's how I ground myself. Abstract shapes in the work of Alberto Burri was a starting point to the clay sculpting of the jewelry. When my hands are in the water, there is a relationship between the water, the fabric, and ultimately the silhouette. You don't really know what the result is going to be. There's such beauty to be found in the imperfect. My mills in Italy had closed and I wanted to maintain tactility and the craftsmanship. So I built this loom, tan and black cashmere, geranium, silk yarn, everyday materials like baker's twine, strips of old fabrics from past collections. The women in my life I have personal relationships with are a starting point to my spring collection. Progressive women of substance. I look to art influence. Marissa Mares, she's the only recognized female artist during the Arte Povera movement. Christine Keeler and Lee Radswell from the 60s had silhouette influence. Georgia O'Keeffe, her natural environment. Industrial artist Christopher Rucker, his patchwork furniture and quilting. Pina Bausch for her womanism, artistry, and regal stature. Francesca, my sister, is my CEO. She's strong where I'm not. We are two very different people, and that's become imperative for this house to be built on. The Marina Moscone pillars are craftsmanship, womanism, and heritage. And while it reads very minimalistic, its craftsmanship is anything but. As I weave, I visualize her movement, ultimately informing what this fabric will become. Fringe, sporadically woven throughout the skirt with a 60s drop waistline. I know she comes to me for gestural shapes with a luxurious ease, pieces with artistry and pieces that have a story. Whether it's the hand feel of the fabric, the twisted draping, it's the way I connect to the pieces and to the wearer. I like to isolate myself. It helps me to paint the picture of the collection. Transcendental meditation is the anchor to my life. It helps me access this reservoir of creativity and higher consciousness. It's the naivete and the stillness of nature that inspire my work. The untouched earth and the fact that nature has the greatest power over us. I think this is a time where there is so little space for inauthenticity. I'm always of the belief that if you stop working with integrity, everyone will feel it.